fashion has been described as a wearable art form and designer Lubna Ayush Kumbalat takes this a step further by incorporating her art in the fabric of her garments. She also believes in making happiness a part of her brand identity and I couldn't wait to discover how she works her magic. When Lubna Kumbalat was seven years old, her mother gave her a toy sewing machine and it's most likely that she didn't think that this would become one of her little daughter's most treasured possessions. She also probably never dreamed that Lubna would grow up to be an internationally acclaimed fashion designer or that her passion for painting would become a signature element of her work. Today, Lubna continues to express a creative vision on canvas and she had already put in some productive hours in her studio when Zaki arrived. Africa is full of the most extraordinary gems and talents and many of these talents have become huge exports. Today I am lucky enough to be meeting the powerhouse Lubna Ayush Kolumbat who is cultivating her talents right here at home and who is making us ever richer for it. Lubna, Hello. thank you for having me in your home. Thank you for coming. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. Please come and join me for traditional Moroccan breakfast. What do we have here? We have the Moroccan tea, which is mint tea. Then we have bread that I made. We usually have it with uh, argan oil, olive oil, olives, honey, and semolina bread. Oh, wow. Let me tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? I was born in Morocco, but we've been with my husband, we've been traveling in different countries for the last 25 years. South Africa, it's a love story, I would say. We came here in 1997. And this is where I had my first baby in 1998. And then we came back in 2012, which is now seven years. Why did you decide to stay in South Africa? It's the fact that it's Africa. It's about an African, I'm an African. I feel home. I love everything about South Africa. I love the vibes, I love the, the weather. The energy is incredible, I would say. When did you realize you had a passion for art and fashion? It was uh, fairly at that young age. I was 40 years old when I really felt I wanted to do my own sketches, my own designs, and take them to seamstress to have them made. Lubna, I am absolutely in awe of the beautiful art in your home. This is yours. Yes, I mean, most of them are mine, yeah. Can you show me one of your favorites? I think there is this one here. This one is very close to my heart. It's an oils. The title is Dance With Me. It's about harmony between women. So it's about sisterhood, I would say, as well. Because I think women, we're all sisters. And I think having this amazing sculpture I bought two years back, I love the smile. I think it spreads the happy vibe. Lugna, I would love to see more of your artwork. Let's go to my art studio. Lubna has exhibited her work in France, Switzerland and the UK, as well as on the African continent. This is my painting station, or it's an acrylic. This is my ceramic station. When I make my ceramics, I paint them. And this is my sculpture station. So I do sculptures with clay and with chicken wires. So this is the place where I spend most of my days, I would say. So this is where the magic happens? Yes, this is where the magic happens. I would say this is where I do my art and I do as well the art for my fashion because every design starts with a painting. Yeah, Zach, like I would love to show you how I married my two passions and uh, how my brainchild Luayu came to life. Fabulous. As a girl, Lubna sketched designs for outfits that she would then ask a seamstress to cut and stitch. But it was only once she had expanded her knowledge and skills as an artist and designer that she found a way to merge art and fashion. For each garment, the process entails first creating a painting, which is then digitized as a print on the fabric of her choice. Lubna, the space has such a vibrant energy and personality. Thank you. Where does the name Luayu come from and what does it mean? It comes from Morocco because it's me, so Lu for Lubna and Ayu for Ayush. And how would you describe your brand? It's flamboyant, vibrant, world of colors and texture. You wear art and you spread the good vibes around you and you make people crave that happiness. 
the happiness you have in you. What inspires your work? I think life inspires me. Women inspire me. And for my paintings, I always have inspiration from Morocco and Africa. You've succeeded in bringing art to life. How have you achieved this? With passion and love, I would say. Uh, my latest fashion show with Fashion Week, the opening of the fashion show was with a design titled Here I Am, I'm Africa. And the way the model was walking around made it feel like Africa was in motion. For me, was the whole continent was just on the ramp with that painting on the back. Do you want to try some of these eyes on? Livna, you spoil me. It would be my honor to see you on my design. These really are artworks. Thank you. What fun. Ooh. Wow, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Lubna, I feel gorgeous. Lubna, take me through this outfit. It's a really combination of fusion of different textures and in blending everything with my art. So it's a modern fusion, I would say. Who is the woman that you design for? My fashion is very bold and very vibrant. So it needs to be for bold women, powerful women, women who don't want to be conventional, they want to stand out in the crown, they want to try something different while still look elegant and stylish. What is your feeling at the finale of a show when you see all your hard work on the ramp? Just seeing my designs on the models, even behind the scene, is so emotional. And the finale time, when I come out, it's really a time that is very special for me. It's a long journey, but I enjoy every single minute of it. I think you're looking really beautiful in this outfit, but I would love to see you in a different one. Of course. <laughs> Combining disciplined geometry with spontaneous bursts of vivid color, Lubna's creations express the energy of Africa without slipping towards cultural appropriation. Although much of the imagery is abstract, she also incorporates portraiture. Lubna, I absolutely love this print. Oh, you look amazing, Zach. This is my signature, actually. It's made of silk and it has an amazing painting. It's another woman face. I love the silk. It has this sumptuous feeling and it's so light. How does your work stand out from the rest? I think it's thanks to my art and I do play with texture and colors. Like this piece, it embodies what I say, I play with texture. It has different fabrics. So, I mean, it has like denim, melton. You have the prints on velvet. The touch is, is really unique touch. And then you have the velvet here and then the satin. So it's a whole explosion of colors and texture, I would say. Lubna, what is your motto in life? Dream in colors, dream big always try to make those dreams come true. What advice do you have for aspiring designers and artists out there? Be passionate about what you do. You need that passion to make it true, to face all the challenges. There are many, many challenges, of course. It's not an easy industry, but when you're passionate, you fight for everything and you make it happen. Libna, thank you so much for sharing your passion and beauty with us. I really had a great time with you guys. Thank you so much. Lubna is truly bringing art to life and each garment allows the wearer to experience her inner vibrancy and the feeling is truly magical.